Friday, so you already know what that means here on CBS Detroit Mornings. It's all about the food, and today it's Jamaican Me Crazy. <laughs> Tomorrow is National Jamaican Beef Patty Day, but today we're helping you celebrate a day early. Troy, who do you have over there with you? You set up quick and it looks good. Oh, yeah. I'm here with Chef Topi from Topi's Kitchen, and we're so excited that you're here today. It smells yes, so good. Thank you. So tell me, how long have you guys been in business? You're counting the days. Well, I've been in Topi's Kitchen. It's been around for three years and two days. And two days. Yeah, but I've been a chef all my life. That's all I know about. So how did it all come about? How did you decide to come up with this restaurant? Well, actually, I work for the, I work for I travel all over work. Mm -hmm. My last stop was in Detroit. Okay. Didn't like it. Okay. But I love it now. Yeah, because you have your business. Yes, yes. So I worked for the casino for 15 years. So after the pandemic, I was in Jamaica for three months. Okay. Couldn't get to come back to the States. So I decide I'm going to give the casino up and do my own thing because that's what the kids and I love want it. to do. I love it. Now, one thing that I love is that you say you grow your own vegetables. So yes, sir. all of the food here is made with healthy vegetables that yes, you grow. Sir. And the they're right, of, right behind the restaurant yeah, near at the, the restaurant. Back of the restaurant. Okay. All right. So we have a beautiful display yeah. here. Let's talk about a little bit of what you have. Of course, tomorrow is a special day. Yeah. Tomorrow's Jamaican Patty Day. Yeah, Jamaican and, Patty's Day. And if we don't know what that is, show us what that is and what it's made of. When you talk about patty, it made my day. Okay. Because when I was a kid growing up, get a patty and a cocoa bread together and one of these cola champagne. Oh, that sounds good. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I love your energy, by yeah. the way. I mean, <laughs> you. you know, you you have all this energy yep. and excitement, yep. and I can understand why, because yep. you, you the pandemic changed everything for everything, a lot of folks. Everything, man. I love it, man. Cooking is my life. Yeah. So inside the patty, what's in it, and how do you make all right. those? This is the veggie patties. Okay. All vegetables. Okay. For the vegan people, this is the beef patty, and All this right. is the jerk chicken patties. That looks so we really got three good. Three different kinds of patties. Okay. And this is a cocoa bread. And you're saying that we can actually put the patty inside the bread. I'll do it for you right, right, right. before TV. Here we go. Here we go. Right, patty cocoa bread. <laughs> this is so this is like a sandwich within this a sandwich. This is how we eat it back in Jamaica: cocoa okay. bread and patty. All right, could I try Good it? Good to go, yeah. All right, now while I try this, let me know a little bit more about what you have All here. Right, I see right over fish, here, all we kinds got of stuff. There. Jerk barbecue rib tip. Mm. We got an Escovite red snapper. Okay. We got oxtail, jerk chicken, red beans and rice. We call it rice and peas back mm -hmm. home. And we got mixed vegetables, all zucchini, yellow squash, you name it. All of these veg in one. And we have the fried plantain, of course. I've got a lot of bread in my bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so I may need some water with that. Yes. But you, you told me all about this other the other drinks as well. Mm. Yeah. This is um, tin out of Jamaica. This is the Vitamol, mm -hmm. the ginseng, cola champagne. And this is the Malta. Okay. And over here we got the, you got to try this one, ginger beer. Okay. No alcohol though. Mm. No alcohol. This is so and good. And this is natural. All I feel natural so bad like I can't this. swallow it all right now. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really bad. But we're going to come back with more and we're going to taste more of it. Yes, Tell sir. me how we can find you. We located at 14621 Fenka Avenue, okay. Detroit, Michigan, right there at the corner of Fenka and, and Hubble. Okay, right there. great. Easy. Perfect. Well, thank you so much thank you for very being much. here, and we're going to eat more of this. I should have had more of the inside of the sandwich yeah. rather than all bread. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for having me. Well, coming up, we're going to have more, and we're going to taste more of it. Coming up. Well, it's Friday, so you've already been able to see what that means here on CBS Detroit Mornings. It's all about the food, and today, especially about Jamaican. Tomorrow is National Jamaican Beef Patty Day, but today we're here helping you celebrate a day early. Right now, let's go on over to Chris. Chris, I did eat my patty. It was delicious. Good, good. Chef Toby it. likes to hear that. He yes. loved your beef patty. That's <laughs> thank good. you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, now, Chef Toby is here, of course, with all this great Jamaican food. First off, it's National Jamaican Beef Patty Day tomorrow. So let's talk about the beef patty. What exactly goes into that? Well, beef patty is a, it's a baked crust. You got beef, and you got veggie, and you got chicken. They even have Kalaloo patty right now. It's more like a, a color greens. Ooh. So you can make patty from almost everything. Okay, what's the spice level in there? The spice level, if you got a spicy one, it's about eight. If you got some spicy, some is not spicy. So you got to order it the way you want it. Eight. But eight out of ten? Order it eight out of ten. Okay, you just say eight. I'm like, I don't yeah, know what I'm getting bad. into, it's chef. It's not bad. Eight okay. out of ten is it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> now, obviously, you put so much love and pride into your dishes. Yes, what's I it do. mean for you cooking for the community? Well, actually, it's a blessing to cook back for the community and give back, right? 
I was working for the casino for a long time, and I decided I want to go on my own and do my own thing. And it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's really a blessing. Because my motto in my restaurant, if somebody walks in my restaurant and don't have any money and need food, they got to get food to eat. Oh, that is fantastic, yep, Chef. Now, they have to. Are these recipes uh, ones that you grew up with as a child? Did you put these together? Where did these recipe ideas come from? That's a good question. I grew up with my grandmother. Since I was like seven years old, I saw her cooking on the wood stove, wood fire. Most of the stuff were cooking wood fire. And I watched her, watch her. Like, this is her recipe. Well, planting, of course, you got to get the right planting for right. Cabbage, that cabbage got zucchini, yellow squash, mixed veg, all the vegetables, red beans and rice with coconut, coconut milk and coconut oil. That's a staple. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the staple right there. That is so good. Now, you also have a dessert here. Now, yeah. gonna, tell me about that. Well, this is our tradition Jamaican rum cake. Ooh, we got a little Jamaican, rum in there, huh? Yep, rum cake. Most of these fruits soak for one year. Prunes, raisin, currants, in, in rum. And then you bake the cake with it. That sounds like the kind of dessert I'd like. A little oh, bit yeah. of taste of rum. Okay, now tell us about this. The, the fish is always a big deal. Yeah, red snapper is a big deal for us. So we will get it fresh from the sea and go home and cook it. So this is a red snapper, Escovitch style. Escovitch. And, oh, yeah, Escovitch. Escovitch is a whole time days where people didn't have, like, refrigerator and all these things, they, they put a whole bunch of herbs and peppers on the food mm -hmm. and keep it for a few days. Now, one thing I didn't think I'd like, then I tried it, and I was like, oh, blown away, is oxtail. Oh, yeah. Show me that. That is our biggest seller right now, oxtail. And not only the oxtail with the red beans and rice, oxtail Alfredo. Alfredo? Yeah. Okay, I got a quick question for you. I was looking at your menu, and you had jerk chicken Boston style. What yeah. is Boston style? All right, Boston style is a place in Jamaica where most of the tourists go and they cook the chickens flat out on the grill. Home style. Home style. So that's where we get that Boston style from. Okay, we need details, Chef Toby. If people want to get some of this incredible food, where do they go? We are, we are 14621 Fenker Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Toby's Kitchen. That is a place to go. You get a little ginger beer there, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We, right. Right apart, we got ginger beer, and I got hibiscus inside there, too. Yeah, you got you it all. You can try that. Yep. All right. Thanks for coming by. We know Troy enjoyed that beef patty. I'm going <laughs> to dig into one in a bit, yes. Troy. But, you know, we got a show to finish here. Yeah. It was really good. I would say maybe my spice level was about a maybe a six. It was great. Yeah. I love yeah. the spice on that.